Okay, guys, welcome aboard. Thanksgiving Sunday. It's only 10 yards. Great big target, really close, not bad. Anyhow, one of the things I have to tell you today is that uh, I've been cutting my arrows really, really short so that they will come right back on my, can you see that? Right back on my shelf. Anyhow, what I noticed uh, a couple times now is as the arrow comes back, I see a plop. Here get over here okay and I see a, a little plop and what it is is my finger is higher and my arrow will shoot my finger off so before I shoot I always put it down a little bit and just make sure that it's not going to hit my finger okay anyhow that's just a little side gaff but uh, anyhow you know we can shoot up close hey 10 yards and uh, I'm just holding the arrow I just, just right, uh, right down about there at this distance. But anyhow, that's our first target. Watch your fingers, boys. <laughs> Back in a minute. Okay, guys, we've moved to 15 yards now. Okay, anyhow, what I'm finding is that uh, this bow, I tend to shoot slightly to the right. So I tried building out my pad, still shooting to the right. So I experimented with cants, and when I hold this bow at exactly 45, she shoots like a cannon. But any other cant, she'll shoot off a little bit. So I find that this bow, with this arrow, really likes a 45 degree cant. And when you do that, you'll get your hits. Okay, back in a minute. Okay, guys, we're at 20 yards now. I had a uh, shooting right problem. see where they are on this target because the white <laughs> the white feathers and the, the light for I think it's at the top of the kill zone. And that one I can see I just lowered it a little bit. Anyhow, um, I was shooting right a little bit, so I tried to build out my pad so I would shoot more left. It didn't help a bit. So what happened was I started to experiment with the cant, and when I got over to a really low 45-degree cant, I started shooting straight. 
So uh, I figured, I realized what it was finally. If you hold the bow up, it bends around the arrow. So when it bends, it goes off that way. If you hold it completely flat, of course, when it bends, it still bends towards the target. So by canting farther, I got it so that it was bending more towards the target, and in that way, it stopped having to bend around and go to the right. So that's what was going on. I couldn't see these guys, so I'm not sure where they are. There. Oh, there they are. Okay, I see them now. Anyhow, there's the hits for that one. Back in a minute. Okay, guys, we're at 25 yards now. This bow has some similarities with the English longbow, I've noticed. Okay, if you're going to pick a cant, I've always said that the 45 degree cant was the best one for the English longbow, exactly 45. Now, you know, I've described this before too. You see how the bow comes down on this angle and this angle? Well, that makes exactly a 90 degree angle, or in this case, it's a 45 degree angle. It's a little trough that the arrow sits in. I've described it as a like a, a, a trough for shooting a, a rocket, you know. It would be like that, and the rocket sits in there. So this is the same idea, okay? So that's one thing. So I've come to realize that this bow, this bow, my bow, me, likes shooting at 45 degrees. I was holding it at a natural angle and I kept shooting a little right. I thought if I canted it a bit more that it might help out. So I started experimenting and sure enough when I hit 45 degrees it started going straight and again it's because just like in a crossbow the arrow flicks if it's sideways, it will flick towards the target, whereas if it's vertical, it's going to glance off the side and it's going to flick that way, whereas horizontal, it flicks that way. And uh, I think that's a big deal. Anyhow, that's what I'm finding here. That the, uh, just like with the English longbow, the 45 degree cant works pretty good. And, uh, you know, we've got a couple of hits. Think it over. Back in a minute. Okay, guys. I'm really pleased at the way this 45 degree cant is working. Okay, you know, getting that bow down at 45 degrees, it really, really lines up easy. Now, here's another thing, and this is important. When the bow is held at 45 degrees and you get behind the arrow, it really becomes just a, a straight draw. It's not like it's not like looking at it like that and it comes back and around like a, a rotational draw. None of this kind of stuff. Okay? 45 degree cant. Put it right in the trough. It points right at the arrow. You've got your jaw lined up to it. As long as you take your little forward step 
to plant your tip and your backward step to plant the back, it will come straight back. It works very good. I like the straight draw. And uh, anyhow, we got some hits, so there they are there. Okay. Back in a minute. 45 degrees. Okay, guys, we're at 35 yards now. Probably it's just about a hold on. I'll see. They're there. Anyhow, you know, I've been telling you about this, getting the bow at 45 degrees. This bow seems to just really like it. it it's working very good. It's giving me that nice straight draw right back to my, to my anchor. No wiggling around. So that's very good. You know, Ron LeClaire, I think his name was, um, uh, he was a really good archer. And uh, he talked about arrow alignment, you know. So uh, there's a lot to it. And uh, this 45 degree with a straight draw is arrow alignment. <laughs> arrow alignment up the yum yam. And again, I want to point this out again, you know, that I have to be very careful with this bow because I can draw the arrow right back to here. So that's uh, as far as I can draw it. But if I hold it with my finger like that, I'll shoot my finger off. So that's that. And the other thing is, you know, guys, this middle finger here, take the weight up mostly with that middle finger right there. Okay? And uh, you think about those kinds of things. You'll get some hits. And, uh, here we are now back a little ways but you know there's our hits okay 45 degrees amazing ever-changing style <laughs> back in a minute okay guys now we're at 40 yards Okay, again, this draw, when you get it over there, it's you know, laying it down flat, more or less laying it down, but when you get it over there and you get your head behind it, it really does come back straight. Much easier to line up. I noticed today, since I've been experimenting with the cant, that the arrows are going quite straight. Not a little left and right, mostly straight, so you have a chance of lobbing it in there, you know? So uh, that's what I would suggest, try that out. But again, what was happening is the arrow was bending and going around the bow and flicking around to the right. By laying it down, it just flicks it around towards the target. 45 degrees. And... Uh, if you do that stuff, you know, you'll get your hits. Experiment, boys. Check it out. Try it out. Don't just watch. Have fun. Back in a minute. Okay, guys. We're down at 45 yards now.
get it. it again don't know if I'm hitting it good or bad and I can't see good enough to be able to adjust whether I have to adjust my gap or what I'm doing so I'll just leave it like that hopefully we got some decent hits uh, you know guys again I have found today that holding this bow at exactly 45 degrees and drawing straight back to my anchor gives me an awful long time to line up really works very good. Again, uh, I want to point out that when I was holding the bow more vertical, because the arrow, Paradox, has to come around the bow, it was coming around the bow and going to the right. When I lay it, lay it over, it still goes around the bow, but towards the target. That's a very standard English longbow technique also, you know. But uh, that's what you need to do, you know. Draw with the weight on that finger, get it over at 45 degrees, get your straight draw, and uh, practice for a while. Well, you can see one. I don't know where the other one is. Where is it there? Can I can't see it. Anyhow, I hit it, so it's there. <laughs> okay. You guys have a good week.